no confusion at all over the issue of the law proposed campus of the law school uh, that is here marked for Ilawa uh, Sometimes in October last year, uh, Senator Smart Adeyemi, uh, representing Kogi uh, State, moved a motion, uh, came up with a bill uh, in the Senate that new law schools should be created, new campuses of law school should be created so that our children, when they graduate from school, they will easily gain admission into the law school instead of this idea of them waiting and uh, not gaining admission because of the limited numbers of uh, law schools that we have in Nigeria. Uh, Ilawe Ekiti was listed as the one to benefit from the southwest geopolitical zone. The choice of Ilawe Ekiti received the blessings of the two senators from Ekiti State. Senator Opeyemi Bamidele, who happens to be the chairman of the Senate Committee on Judiciary. The committee saddled with that responsibility. And Senator Apiono Ujimi, uh, the other senator who happens to be from Ifaki, was rooting for his own community. Uh, at the end of the day, since two uh, is actually more than uh, one. one, the Senate agreed that it should be in Ilawe Kiti. And on account of that, I was invited to Abuja to appear uh, at the Senate public hearing uh, on the issue of the, of the law school. Uh, the public hearing took place on the 15th 15th of uh, November, 15th of November, uh, 2021. Uh, during that public hearing, all the communities concerned were invited into the uh, Senate building where we made pre uh, presentation. It's on record. I will pass documents to you and uh, the video recording of that public hearing where I was even mandated to speak for all the monarchs in the six geopolitical zones uh, of this country, uh, where they have earmarked that law school. I spoke about the need and the disability of the law school and how prepared uh, those communities are uh, for the law school. And uh, it was roundly applauded by the Judiciary Committee of the Senate. And uh, the people, the public, members of the public made up of uh, uh, legal practitioners, legislators, and uh, everybody there. And at the end of the day, approval came about three days ago. The Senate unanimously approved the bill, which in that way has decided for the Southwest geopolitical zone. So it came to me with rude shock and great surprise that some people could be laying claim to, uh, to it. If they, are, if they are involved or they are considered for it, it would have been a different thing. Were they invited for the public hearing? They were never invited for the public hearing. Can you just reap where you did not so? I mean, it's, it's not only absurd, it's so disappointing that uh, people could be angling for uh, this kind of uh, opportunity, which is not meant for them. And if you look at the configuration of equity states, the South Senatorial District has been so deprived, it is most disheartening. All federal establishments are in the Central and the North Senatorial District. The North Senatorial District has the Federal University of Oyekiti. It has a lot of other institutions. The Central Senatorial District has uh, the Federal Polytechnic uh, and a whole lot of other institutions. But the South Senatorial District has no single federal institution. And on account of that, that was why the Senate agreed that it must go to the South Senatorial District and Ilawa was chosen. It is not only absurd, it is a terrible, terrible aberration and most disheartening and disappointing that some people in the North Senatorial District, especially Ifaki, could be laying claim to this. It is not true. It's not for Ifaki. It's for Ilawa Ekiti. This has been confirmed by the uh, chairman of the Judiciary Committee of the Senate, Senator Payamiba Bidele, I spoke with him. He called me to congratulate me. 
Senator Abiodun Olujimi, as he called upon farm this, uh, Senator Abiodun Olujimi, who is the senator representing the South Senatorial District, uh, spoke this morning. I read what he wrote on some of the social media, telling them clearly that what Senator approved is Ilawa Ikiti as the site to host the Southwest uh, campus of the law school that is being proposed. So without any, without any form of equivocation, I have no doubt in my mind that it is Ilawe. Uh, the people of Ifaki are just trying to create problems uh, where there should be none. That was how people in that, uh, in that area created problems for themselves between Ikole and uh, Oye during the time uh, the Federal University of uh, Oye was cited. We don't want that kind of problem in Ekiti. Ekiti is, 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 is a it's a, it's, it's a state that we should learn to cohabit and tolerate the nuances and idiosyncrasies of uh, each other. In a situation where some people will think they should dominate uh, everything in the city, it's not acceptable and it's going to be roundly rejected. We are not going to subscribe to it. And it's a threat to the peaceful cohabitation of the people of the state. If you think you can marginalize and short shame the South Senatorial District, no, it's not going to happen. Not even when the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria decided that the law school should be cited in Ilawe. And some people are coming up with joyous perception that it is uh, Ifaki. Capital no. The Senate has spoken and it has spoken well. It is cited in Ilawe. You can confirm this. You can speak to the chairman of the Senate Committee on Judicial, Senator Poyemba Bidiri. You can speak to the Senate, another senator from uh, Ekiti State, Senator Abiyadu Olujimi. She has even issued a statement on it. Uh, you can even speak to Senator Smart at the Yemi, the sponsor of the, of the motion. In fact, Senator Smart at the Yemi addressed the press to, to put to rest all this uh, controversy. And Senator Smart at the Yemi said it emphatically that it is Ilawe Ekiti that we host the campus, the proposed campus of the law school, earmarked for the southwest geopolitical zone of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. This is a copy. This is a copy of the memorandum that I presented and defended there. Did the Faki present memorandum? Were they invited? Did they participate? The answer is no. I'm going to give you copies of this memorandum and I'm going to send to you through WhatsApp the video recording of my presentation that day. I want to appeal to our people in the state. They should give peace a chance. They should allow peace to reign. They shouldn't allow all this kind of uh, skirmishes to tear us apart. Once something is clear, it is clear. Ilawe has been chosen and that is fine. It's not negotiable. We can't compromise it. They should know that that is not practicable for anybody to now think it will hijack that. No, that will not happen. So that is it. Can, can we say uh, sorry?